labour versus capital intensive production. Operations managers must decide what combination of factors of production they will use. There are two main approaches to production. First, there's labour intensive. Second, there's capital intensive. But first, let's consider labour intensive. It is a form of work that needs a large workforce or a large amount of work in relation to the output. Hotel Chocolate, the specialist chocolate company. This is an example of labour intensive. Hotel Chocolate is a specialist chocolate company. And to make it even more special, they make it all by hand. Making things by hand is going to take time, as you want to get it right. This means you'll need to employ more people, which will make Hotel Chocolate's production process labour intensive. But it gives the customers exactly what they want, a luxury product. The second option to production is capital intensive. This is a process that requires large amounts of money and other financial resources to produce a good or service. An example of capital intensive production is Cadbury's chocolate. A majority of the work completed daily in Cadbury's chocolate is done by expensive machinery. This allows you to produce large quantities of products in a very short period of time. Making Cadbury's chocolate on mass production allows the business to have large quantities to sell. But they'll have to invest in the expensive machinery and also the raw materials to make the goods. This makes Cadbury's chocolate a capital intensive business. Hopefully this video has helped. Now for the rest of the lesson.